All right, so this is that carburetor that was on there. And if you notice, the only thing it has is a choke, and that's it. There's no butterfly on the other end for a throttle. So it got some kind of feedback signal, I, some of the reading I was doing through, uh, I think it's a crankcase pressure. And by whatever that changes is how it kind of governs itself. So again, that's not going to work very well for um, the purpose of trying to put it on a bike because you have to have some kind of throttle. So what I did is just kind of quickly cobble together. Um, this is just a piece of um, uh, angle iron flange. It's a 45 degree elbow. Uh, and I just welded a couple of nuts on it. Yeah, yeah, hopefully point out what I'm looking at here. So, right on it. Actually, I'll just pop it right out of this thing. So, what it has is just a couple of nuts welded there and welded there. I took some sealer, ran it across, and then did the same thing on the other side. Two nuts welded on it, and then uh, some sealer wrapped around it. So, what I'm going to try and do is uh, feed the float bowl with fuel, fill it up, and then I will have a, uh, a throttle and a choke and this is really just a test to see if it'll run with this type of carburetor i know it's you know not compatible as far as um a, a bunch of different things including jetting and everything else because this is one of those fixed jet jobbers but if it'll kind of run with this setup where i have a throttle where i can kind of uh, you know just rev it then i'll go through the trouble of fine tuning it making a nice manifold uh, getting a carburetor that has the adjustable main jet and the, and the adjustable idle jet I could fine-tune it and get it to run normal like it should But for now, we're gonna go dump some fuel in through there fill the float ball up some and uh, Try spinning over some and see if we can get it to run on that. So Put you back in the stand Make it so you can see it Zoom me out a little bit. There we go Sometimes, the best bet is, if you don't know, just give it a shot, you know? Just Once you put something in the football, I'm going to put a little dab down the... Uh, carb too, just to act as a primer. Let's see what we get. Let me make sure you're still in the shot. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I should probably try it without the choke because I, uh, Dribbled some in there. Caught. I have to rev it up a little bit more than that. There's a vice right behind me, I'm waiting to shove my elbow into it. Let's try it. Let's see if I can turn that screw up a little bit with the uh, idle.
that's that, I'm going to go try setting up a, um, a fuel supply to it and uh, see if we can keep it running. Let it die, let it die. I think I try to find myself a nice little two-stroke motorcycle carburetor. We'd uh, definitely improve our uh, running capacity. So that's what I think I'll do. I'll uh, work on getting, I probably shouldn't even bother doing it till the bike is built, but I do know it'll run with another carburetor, so that's a good thing. Again, I just need a carburetor that's adjustable, which that is not. So, uh, I don't know, for two bucks it was worth the fix uh, to try it. And uh, no harm to that carburetor. That can still go on an eight horse snowblower. But, uh, looks like a good motor. Again, thanks for watching, comment, subscribing. Bye guys.